Hello, uh, I'm uh, Giuseppe Vasile and the Alien Century you can find at the website www.fibstalker.com I also post regularly on Twitter using the Fibstalker nickname um, Today is Monday, October the 6th, it's already 2am and I just finished the review for uh, the detailed review for my for the participants of my Fibstalker medical coaching program which I started on Saturday It's very exciting um, experience uh, everybody's quite uh, excited and happy what they are learning and uh, in this video i'm going to review for you very quickly the 12 market i follow of course it's not going to be a detailed review as the one i give to my uh, participants for example i don't review typically the um, four hour or uh, 15 minutes or one minutes and i don't show i don't show how i use the fib stalking technique to time but it can be very useful for you to get an idea where the markets are, are, are uh, going and actually I give the uh, i give the setups on the daily time frame so uh, a lot of people are actually doing uh, money only of these say, setups and one of the participants of my course actually took my course with uh, with, uh, with gains that he um, he generated by following my free uh, newsletter so i think it can be useful for you as well so let's start from uh, the euro dollar you will remember that i timed uh, um, uh, live this um, measure move here 129.83 at the Dell Spinker Tlar and the market went into the first and second target and then never retraced into the next measure move. But actually um, there was the market was picked by uh, algorithmic trading within the next um, sequence of measure move here. And uh, at some point uh, it went to um, trade the next measure move here. Uh, and uh, this was actually something that I could identify only after the fact. I'm not claiming I identified this before the fact. Actually, when you look at the uh, four hour time frame, there was also another trace that I offered um, uh, last, uh, last week. And actually, uh, that trace uh, actually offered a free risk, uh, a free risk trade to uh, those who uh, actually um, traded it and there was the possibility to um, to actually um, when you look at the at the sequence of measure move on the four hour time frame to take a fairly trade of this move higher and if the market that continue higher that would be that had been a, a very good uh, reward to risk up to uh, 20 reward to risk into 130 but that scenario never uh, never uh, uh, never presented actually and the market went to on the other hand, uh, went to algorithmic trading, kept using or start using this new anchor here. And again, this was identified after the fact, so I'm not claiming that I identified that before. But uh, one of the characteristics of my method is that, um, and actually let me trace this a little bit better. Uh, one of the characteristics of my method is that by knowing this, uh, this level, even after the fact, now we can make some considerations on what could be the next measure move in this market and so we could actually pick that up and trade that and if the market retraces from here as the target um, uh, actually moved into the first target we could get a retracement all the way into 126.58 of course this market could also continue lower into the second target of that measure move those who follow me know that i mentioned that this market is going to go into 120 130 uh, make no mistake about it just a matter of time the only difference is that if we get their straight line or we retrace into the old well way back and we could retrace into uh, from current lows we could retrace into 130 or we could retrace into uh, lower levels but we don't have to guess because the market is going to get uh, to tell that that uh, to us i mean as soon as we start retracement higher and the uh, uh, sequence of measure move that uh, retracement entire fails that's the time when i will get involved and i'll let you know of course moving to the uh, sp500 uh, this market actually moved into and bounced into from the level that i've indicated and uh, let me show you what this level uh, was uh, we had uh, a sequence of measure move here on the weekly time frame i'm going to show this to you this market on the weekly time frame is still moving in extensions and clearly continuing in extensions here. Let me show you um, the traces that I've uh, now provided a few uh, a few uh, weeks ago and months ago here. When I saw the high in July, 
I traced uh, this, um, one of the traces I had was this highs to highs. And there was uh, an area of support starting at uh, 19 here with a stop below uh, 1881. Now this level changed because this continuous contract for the SP500. But as you can see, price came up into that first um, uh, target and then started retracing. And I also suggested uh, uh, some measured move shorts here, a sequence of measured move shorts, by the way, um, into the next level. Now, this level is not casual. The 19, 19 level is not random. In fact, it's the next uh, measured move in the sequence here from um, uh, highs to highs. And as you can see, I gave this measured move uh, with uh, a few uh, days in advance here. And actually also, it was also possible to time it uh, with the FIB stalking timing uh, technique. Uh, entering at 1, 1928 or 1924 depending on the time frame that uh, that you use so congratulations to those who follow this signal and now of course we are on all uh, on our way to get into the next um, uh, level of um, of target here and that uh, that is going to be this um, uh, is going to be the um, the to uh, 2059 level first target and there is the potential for this market to continue into the 2132 you know that my uh, long-term target for this market is 2500 moving to the dollar index uh, i want to remove here the um, so the dollar index continue moving higher and it's moving uh, incredibly um, uh, quickly here and aggressively and now it's into uh, you know, into uh, that area of um, um, that second area of uh, resistance here, traced from the highs in 2008 to lows. And we will see what happens there, whether this market actually, uh, you know, starts uh, correcting and get some, um, uh, you know, is sold or is going to continue higher. We will see. That will depend also on what the uh, euro is going to do the euro is in big trouble obviously moving to the um, gold here gold uh, is actually now retesting these uh, previous lows it is into this uh, area of support and we need to follow the sequence of measure move short on the daily time frame and that's what i do that's uh, what you see here the 1234 uh, that was traced in advance with uh, with actually one day in advance and mm, this comes from a sequence of measure move short in which price is at the moment and uh, we can actually i can show you the full sequence of measure move here and when you take my um, mm, fib stalker methods coaching program i teach you how you trace this and also how you time how you time when market counter trends move into this level of uh, uh, of resistance then i show you how to trade them as you can see the 1242 went into the first target 1213 and uh, and uh, and then uh, you could actually trace the um, the following uh, measured move from same anchor to new lows and that's exactly where the market stopped again we knew this in advance one day in advance and price then uh, moved laterally for a for a, for a moment you could actually have showed to my subscribers my participant of my coaching program how you time the entry here and uh, uh, so you can you can have multiple reward to risk into first and now this market is moving potentially into 1174 which is the second target moving to the us dollars and japanese yen there was a sequence of measured move here i'm going to show you this on the um, 240 minutes here and um and the last one was from uh, highs to um highs to highs here and as you can see went right into that first target and then started the selling off here so you could enter here and get uh, six reward to risk or uh, actually uh, if you time it on the 15 minutes then reward to risk only for this trade one two three four five six and seven days for a potential 10 percent if you risk one percent on your uh, on your portfolio on your account 
Now, the next measure move that I traced was not respected, and that's an indication for me that we could get start getting a retracement, a larger retracement in this market. And the measure move here was not respected, and uh, um, the timing would have uh, brought a small loss here, but uh, that's uh, the price that we pay for discovering uh, discovering information here now we have two levels that i'm going to watch on this market let me go back on the daily time frame the two levels i'm going to watch are the first highs highs here to highs and um and this is the level that we could retrace to and the second level is going to be this uh, highs to highs here from this larger uh, this larger level no no none of these two was retested notice also that the second target of this uh, larger 10150 support is just just above so the smaller time frame could actually just push the mark the market into the level and then probably uh, this uh, larger retracement 106 50, 57 would not come into play so um for now we'll leave it there let's see what happens uh, there's nothing to do on this market at the moment there was this seven days trade here very good 10 percent and um, you can get to uh, you can get moving until this market uh, you know uh, gets into the second target and then we will uh, we will time a short the euro versus Japanese yen actually did not uh, was not able to hold on uh, uh, on the old way of way back here from lows to highs. There was a, a participation there, uh, but not enough to keep this market. So what uh, what I'm looking for now it's a retest again of this one thirty six seventy nine, and. When we trace, uh, when you look at the uh, law of the short shorts here, uh, you can also understand why there was that strong move lower. Uh, of course, uh, you know that could be anticipated as well. Um, um, I didn't trace this; I was not looking at this. But when you have always, you can see the old way of way back, and there was participation that when the sequence of measure move failed. And that's one of the reasons, that's the reason that we're seeing this market moving lower. I think the 136.80 will hold in this market. It's not important what I think. The market will show us as the, the way. Pound versus Japanese yen on the other side went to um, trace, uh, went to trade into the first target here of this larger time frame. And uh, it also traded uh, on the uh, first target uh, of the um, of this uh, uh, this measure move here, and then the sequence of measure move failed, and we can see this on the um, twenty forty minutes here. The market actually uh, went to uh, test the uh, next extension long here, and it failed. So at the moment we are seeing this market moving into the old way, the next uh, next measure move long, which is the. 171 um, uh, 175 sorry and that's uh, we will see how this market behaves now there is a sequence of measure move short here and we can see this so the next target uh, of this sequence of measure move short is the first target is 175.68 and we will see whether this market will bounce from this or will just continue lower into the second target so this is just an area of support at this at this moment we don't know whether participation will come in that area moving to the euro versus the canadian uh, you will remember that here the sequence of measure move that i showed you uh, on this chart i also i also made a, a review for this um, for this market for this you guys copy at the uh, end of may here and I uh, mentioned that this market could move all the way into 138.50. The next measure move broke price into first and second target, and the next measure move failed, which for me means that this market is preparing to, to actually um, continue higher. But uh, we have uh, here a measure move that was busted, but there's still the potential to bring price into this 
139.42 and eventually 138. If that happens, okay, um, price is being pushed by the smaller time frame into the larger area of um, uh, of uh, support here, which comes, I'll show you on the weekly time frame here, it comes at 138.56. Moving to the pound versus the US dollar here, this market is actually in the uh, into that area of support that I mentioned since now. We, I saw this uh, high and this was more than two months ago. Uh, when it bounced into uh, 160.50 here, I said, you know, we didn't test that level. This participation might not be um, long lived, but we had to trade those longs anyway. Now we are in this, uh, in this again, back into this area and we need to look at the sequence of measure uh, move here that tell us when there is the potential for this market to uh, reverse and confirm long so the measure move here that i was looking at uh, broke price into first and second target it never retraced so when that happens of course we can always consider the next measure move here which is the safest way to time this uh, long so if we get above 161.57 then uh, you know, there is a possibility for this market to uh, to have a rally into at least the old wealth way back. So that would be at least into this level here. Uh, if uh, we saw the low already, that would be the 165.73. Congratulations to those who took the sequence of measure move short into that target. The last part was difficult. I did not uh, wait for that. Um, but uh, here uh, it's where we are now when we look at the 24 minutes here uh, there are some consideration I did for my uh, um, coaching program um, participants here I'm going to remove this and uh, here we can actually look at the sequence of measure move uh, on the smaller time frame and see uh, that we have we actually had uh, you know this measure move and here we have two levels the safest is certainly this level so for a confirmation of long and there is also another level that i only gave to my participants uh, which is more aggressive but could come before so um moving to the australian dollars us dollar here uh, this is again this market is actually of course obviously in a in a move lower there was a violation of the uh, sequence of measure move short here uh, and there was also the possibility of course to um, get a free trade here but um, the market actually went lower and to test this uh, first target so when that happens that's uh, that's a there is a possibility for this market to come higher very very quickly in the next sessions and uh, if that if not that's not the case we have to identify anyway uh, which is the program trade in that uh, caused this move lower and actually uh, there are uh, different uh, there are different options here and uh, it could also be possible that program trading is using actually an extension um, a short here so uh, whatever it's uh, it's the case now we need to see where this market is uh, is moving and it hit the first target so there's going to be anyway some profit taking from this level and um, i gave of course a more detailed analysis to uh, the participant of my program moving to the us dollar versus the canadian dollar you know that i don't trust this move mm, very much and the reason for that is that um, the sequence of measure move has failed and uh, there was um, uh, this measure move and brought price into um, first target and then the next measure move failed so at the moment uh, we are actually into uh, the near very near the second target of this failed measure move so there is of course always the possibility that this market is going to continue higher especially if the dollar strength is still there but uh, we will need to see at least a retracement if we get into that first into that uh, second target actually and so i'm going to retrace this into um 
Looking through the list is into you know what I would I would like to see and probably see the the market in in the in the next measure move here. However, as I said, I don't trust this sequence of measure move higher. Finally, the New Zealand dollar versus US dollar. The it confirmed some of the levels, and actually, uh, congratulations to those who stay in shorts. I mentioned that this market could actually go and actually was doomed to go now to test the 077 and that's what happened there so uh, now we need to confirm and see whether there will be participation at these levels if participation will be present at those levels then this is going to be um, uh, this is going to be um, um, then we, we already show a violation here and uh, it's possible that by timing the sequence of measure move lower, lower again we could actually get into the uh, this bounce higher that could actually bring price at least into this oh, uh, 80.57 this is it for um, this week um, I, I wish you a very good week from next week I'll start uh, sending out some messages uh, to start the, start setting up the December session of my uh, coaching program. Um, I hope um, I saw that there was a lot of interest. I had to move uh, a few people to the next um, to the next uh, session starting December the 6th. If you're interested, let me know um, and I'll provide more information as well as we go um into the program the first uh, content is going to be next saturday um so um, the first web content webinar thank you very much for your attention i wish you a great training week and um, uh, let me know uh, if you have any questions just hit reply to the newsletter and uh, send me your notes thank you very much and bye bye now